Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. The alley on Finney Street. And we are currently at that cafe, so we gotta go this way. Ooh, hold on, let's not forget the ammo. Yes. Yosh. Thank you very much. No parking any time. Okay. Yes, this is this is Silent Hill 1, if you're unaware. And it is a fantastic game. I've only actually played it one time though. And so there are some there are going to be some puzzles that definitely um probably stump me for a minute. So I'm going to apologize right now for that. And um if you've never played a Silent Hill game or seen one played, it is very common knowledge that the enemies you run into outside you usually are better off just ignoring because it's just going to eat up all of your am ammunition or in he well and health and um, it's the enemies inside of places that you really need to be worried about unless of course it's like a ground enemy in an alley like that dog over there Bang, bang, bang. Wrecked him. Kick him while he's down. Gotcha. Bang. Beware of dog. Now that sign actually has some context. Oh yes, but this is a this is definitely a PlayStation One classic. Um, any horror game lover should play Silent Hill One. In fact, if you have not played this, I recommend it. I like 100% play this. It is scary. There are definitely some parts later on that are very that creeped me. I remember being creeped out very much when I first played this. Who knows if I will be the second time around? But um. To school. Isn't this Cheryl's sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. Midwich Elementary School. There is a steel pipe. Take it. Yes, please. Sketchbook cover. This picture. It's me. Dude, you got some, like, stretched out eyes, man. The first picture that Cheryl, Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave her on her fifth birthday. What, you're not even gonna take it? You're just gonna leave it on the ground like that? I see how it is. Too offended by that picture to take it with you, huh? Uh-huh. I see. Doesn't matter if it's your daughter's picture or not, huh? Anyway, so now we have to go to... We have to find a way to get to Midwich Elementary School. And, uh... As we will soon come to realize, that is not going to be as easy as it might seem. Yeah, it's going to take me a little while to get used to the controls. It's got tank controls like Resident Evil 1, but it's 3D environments, so it's a little iffy. Alright, where do we want to go? Hey, F.A. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, let's head left first. One thing I really like to do is get the map filled out a little bit, because as you explore, Harry will m mark things... Oh. Harry will mark down things on your map that are that could be useful. Like this dead end, he will mark on the map. With a big red X. No scoped him, just like that.
Yes, and the sounds you're hearing, the weird sounds you're hearing when enemies are nearby, is the radio that we picked up. What it is, is it's the game's way of letting you know that there are enemies nearby, because you're not going to be able to see them most of the time, right away. So the game gives you this radio which makes static when monsters are nearby. Those dogs kind of look like giant rats. Anyway, it makes static when monsters are nearby. When the static disappears, you know you are safe. Let's check the doghouse. Probably a doghouse, though. Probably a doghouse, though I'm not sure since there's no dog around. Nothing. Yeah, there's no dog around because you just killed it. Unless it is just a giant rat. In that case, you're correct. There is no dog. Boop -ba doop boo. Boop -ba doo. All right, where are we going next? Well, I guess we could go this way. Doghouse, Levin Street. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. Well, let's go back to that um, doghouse. Radio static. Oh. Bam. 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 Get wrecked. Okay, hold on. Let me check my status. Nope, wrong button. Hold your horses. Okay, I'm still I'm still in the green. House key was hidden in the doghouse. Take it. Yes, please. Alright, in we go. Ouch. I just hit my knuckles. Alright, uh there is a first aid kit. Yes, please. I need a lot of those, probably. Check the door. It's locked. Okay. Aim Amo, as my great friend calls it. Amo. He pronounces it Amo. I'm not gonna say names, but somebody I know. If you watch this, I'm making fun of you. Amo. Anyway, handgun Amo. I'm gonna call it that for the rest of the let's play. Handgun Am Amo. Refrigerator. The refrigerator is empty. Okay. Take this. Yes. And nothing else of importance. Let us save our game because it's better save than sorry. Uh, I meant to save over the first lot. Oops. Oh well, one's a backup. All right, and uh, check the map. Something is written on the map, hanging on the wall. Copied it to the map. Keys for Eclipse. Okay, we've got one um, down that side street near the cafe. Well, we've got somewhere to check on Elroy Street, and somewhere to check on the bridge. The, the Northern Bridge. More Northern Bridge, okay. And there are three locks. Okay, well, then those three destinations must have three keys. Alrighty. So, where to first? Um, let's go to Elroy Street. Ooh, nice tumble. Yeah, this game's got some pretty fantastic animations. And the graphics are pretty gar darn good for um, PS1. Obviously, they were able to pull off better graphics than this because the game has such a low draw distance. The um, heavy fog really covers up the draw distance, but it is not very far. If there was no fog, it would just look like like one block. I don't know. It's like having Minecraft set to the lowest. Um, like setting Minecraft down to the lowest um, render distance. Yeah, sort of like that. I don't know. They pulled it off well. The fog definitely. The fog f doesn't feel out of place. It feels very like it fits the atmosphere, even though it's just there to hide. It's there to mask the um, low draw distance, but it fits very well. 
So kudos for you for that. Like, I don't know, it almost wouldn't feel natural. Like, it almost wouldn't feel right without the fog. It really does add to the uh, mysterious atmosphere. Alright, we're almost to our first turning point. Also, some people watching this are probably like Silent Hill experts and they're like, Damn it, he's running past everything. Well, I'm sorry. I'm gonna play this game the same way I played it the first time and. That way I know uh, my methods will work. And run across the rickety old bridge. And we got a health drink. I'm gonna take that. Thank you. And the key we needed. The key of Scarecrow. Yes, please. Let's get out of here so Mr. Pterodactyl San will leave us alone. Pterodactyl Sama Sensei Senpai. Alright, no parking, do not block area. But yeah, I'll probably play till we get to the first, a very, there's a specific destination I have in mind that I'll probably play to. And then I'll split it up into episodes like I usually do, but um, yeah. I'm already having a lot of fun with this and the game has barely gotten started. And um, I hope you guys enjoy as well. And... I just ran down that whole street, but I completely forgot I was looking for a key. Yeah, yes, I'm gonna be a bit of an airhead sometimes. I apologize. Uh, yeah. But I've been wanting to play this game for a while now. Actually, I've been thinking of Let's Playing this since before I even started my Zelda Let's Play. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy to finally be playing this again. Nothing... alright. Well, there's gotta be a key around here somewhere. Um, <laughs> one thing that's funny is this game is originally supposed to take place in a s m suburban town in Maine. You know that state in America called Maine? And the funny thing is I actually live in Maine. So I live in the town that this game is supposed to be taking place in. Well, not the town, the state. I live in the state that this game is supposed to be taking place in. And I gotta say, there actually are places in Maine that look like this. Ooh, okay, it's probably in here. I feel like such an idiot looking looking in all those little alleys and it turns out it was just this place probably. Okay, what is this? A dog's head. Somebody was playing some head skip ball. And the key of the woodman. Yes. There's a health drink. Thank you. can't go through that door. I guess I'm headed out here. Now we just gotta go get the third key. Which is this way and right. Turn right. Food and liquor. Looks like it's been raided. Alrighty. So, um, anybody watching this, have you played Breath of the Wild? And if you have, what do you think of it? Um, I know I shouldn't be talking about a Zelda game while I'm playing a horror game, but I just can't help it. It was such a good game. Um, but if you played Zelda, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear some opinions. And maybe even discuss some, some things about the game with people. Um, I am planning on, in the future, getting a capture card so I can record game consoles instead of just PC. And one thing I will be doing when I get that is recording, 
Breath of the Wild because that is such a fantastic game. I would love to do a Let's Play of it. I own the Wii U version just for information, just for everyone's information or whatever. Just to let you know. But uh, the Wii U version runs just fine. The graphics look fine. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, back to Silent Hill. I'm sorry. I don't mean to get uh, sidetracked by other games. Also, if you've ever played Silent Hill and you want to, um, if you've got anything that you'd like to say about it, experiences or anything like that, feel free to leave that in the comments too. I'd love to read people's thoughts on the story and, um, like, um, how do I put it? Uh, like, your interpretation of the story. What do you think is going on? Or,. The overall story, like one through three, what do you think of the? What, what's your interpretation of the events? I'd love to hear other people's perspective on this game and the second one and the third one, because um, those are the three I have played. I've played a little bit of four, but it didn't really g grab me the same way the first three do. I don't know. It didn't feel right taking place. It didn't take place in Silent Hill. The beginning of three wasn't in Silent Hill. Like like one and two both start out right in Silent Hill. Three wasn't didn't start out there, but ended up going there. But f I don't know. Four took place in a completely different town. It was weird. It felt a little out of place. Um, a Silent Hill game I would love to play is Origins. I've never played that one. I don't know what people think of it, but like I haven't read any reviews for it or anything, but I know it's a prequel to this one. It's on the PS2 and the PSP, and I would love to play it sometime. I have no idea what it's like other than that. It is the first, it's what starts it all, basically, is what it's supposed to be. The very first person to ever go to Silent Hill. Or whatever, the very first... Yeah. And it looked really interesting. It showed the origins of some stuff. So that's something I might check out in the future. If I can, like, maybe I can get my hands on the PSP version. Use the key of Lion. Use the key of Woodman. Use the key of Scarecrow. It's unlocked. Someone really didn't want to go out their back door. Nani? That's, I mean, what? Sorry. It's getting dark again? What's going on? Alright, now do I have a... Okay, B is to turn it on and off. Okay. And we got a health drink. I say B because I'm playing with a 360 controller. It would be Circle if I was playing on that with an actual PS1 or PS2 controller. So now that it's dark, the fog is gone, and you can actually, you can see the draw distance now, and you can see how short it is. Oh, I just missed. Miss. Hush. Ooh, get wrecked, bruh. No, 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 no. Ow. Brick. Hit and run. You little prick used that. Aiming can be a bit of a bitch in this game. I'm just gonna keep moving. Oh, maybe he'll just leave me alone. Okay, we want to make our way to Midwich, so let's go this way. Once I get to the school, I'll be switching to my pipe that I picked up. I use the gun outside because it's useful on the pterodactyls and the doggos. And I think we're on the school grounds now, so it shouldn't be too much farther. There we are. And it's locked. Am I at the school? No. Wrong place. Sorry about that. Keep going. 
I don't think that's somewhere we're supposed to be quite yet. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this, so I don't I don't remember it 100%. I do remember certain bits here and there. And there we go. We're in the school. The shul. And now that we're inside here, I'm going to switch to my iron pipe. Sometimes the camera angles in this are a pain in the ass. I don't have a map. Hold on, I want to make sure I didn't miss the map. Well, there's a map of America. That's not going to be... Well, there's a map. I was about to say, that, that that's a map of America. That's not going to be so helpful in here. Alright, the uh, courtyard, reception, infirmary. I think there's a safe spot in the infirmary. Or reception. One or the other. Let's check the infirmary first. Okay. Yes, there is a safe spot in the infirmary. Yes, it is okay. 